Well, Juneteenth commemorates the end of slavery in the United States, the day the last remaining slaves were informed that they were free. Yesterday was the actual Juneteenth holiday, but many of you have today off in public observance. But as January Keaton tells us, Juneteenth is about much more than one of our darkest times in history. The country in 1776 got its independence, but it was uh, hundreds of years later when the enslaved African people got their freedom. Galveston, Texas, June 19, 1865. General Gordon Granger rode into town and told the enslaved Africans there that they were free. The Emancipation Proclamation was signed on January 1st, 1863. But the politics and racism of the day kept those Texas slaves from finding out that they had been free for over two years. Nobody told them. No. That was probably a bad uh, choice on the white people's part. Juneteenth for African Americans now, over 150 years later, a day to celebrate, yes, but also a day to reflect on how far we've come as a people and a nation. I think that it definitely should have been something that we celebrated ho hopefully earlier before, but glad we're at least giving it its moment now. <laughs> Juneteenth was initially observed predominantly in Texas, spreading to communities across the country. Last year, President Biden declared Juneteenth a federal holiday. So far, 18 states observe Juneteenth as a paid state holiday. Ohio is one of them. I think that it's great. Knowledge about Juneteenth continuing to gain momentum in America. Last year, 37 percent of Americans said they knew about Juneteenth. This year, 60 percent. As we continue to celebrate and see from year one to year two in terms of how many communities are celebrating Juneteenth. I'm very optimistic about the future in all 50 states. Well, right now, 24 states and the District of Columbia have passed legislation or issued executive orders that would provide funding to give state employees the day off to observe the holiday. Laura. All right, January Keaton, live for us in the newsroom. January, thank you.